Hey guys, this is going to be the first video on this channel. It's going to be a fishing channel, so yeah. I'm going to go through all of my fishing rods and well, my rods, my reels, and my lures for freshwater and offshore. So yeah, let's go with the first thing. This is the thing that I've been using the most. This is my, this is my drop shot setup. This is a Shimano Sahara 250 with 10 pound braid on it. I forgot what, what company makes this braid, but it's orange so I can see it in the dark with a 10 pound leader and a little swim bait thing. And if you hear this stuff in the back, I'm sorry. My siblings and my dad and my stepmom will be quiet for a little bit, I guess. And this is the second take of this video because right as I was finishing it, my dad came in and yeah, so eh, it's fine, I guess. I'll do it again. And now, let me show you guys my bait caster. It's a nice bait caster, I guess. It's a little, it's a Bass Pro Tourney special combo because my grandpa bought this for himself for like in the bay because he lives in the bay, like right on the bay. But he doesn't really like it that much. He doesn't like bait casters, that's a thing. And so he just bought stuff for like the boat and all that. So he gave me this. And I mean, I like it. It's medium heavy action rod. So, yeah, well, medium heavy power rod. It's nice. I like it. And I have a black buzz bait tied on that I had bought. And now let's get into my saltwater stuff. And again, I'm really sorry if you hear that stuff. They're being very loud. This is my Kingfish trolling setup. I have an Avid model LXJX. It's nice with 30 pound fluoro, I'm pretty sure. I have to refill it with braid. And then a big Kingfish rod. It's from some uh, like little company. My dad ordered it for me because he knew about this stuff, so yeah. He, he knows which rod's good and all that. So I just let him order it for me. Haven't caught a kingfish on it yet. Haven't caught a kingfish at all yet. So hopefully I'll be able to document me catching a kingfish with this GoPro. Should happen soon. Now. This is my like. I use for inshore slash catching bait and like stuff like that like light fishing, light offshore saltwater fishing, but it's still really nice. It's medium heavy, medium heavy action, oh, power rod with a spin fisher, pen spin fisher, five, with the four, in the size 4,500. Pretty nice, has, oh, I almost made all the rods full. It has um, 20 pound braid, 20 pound power pro, yeah, it's power pro, I think. I'm not the one that spooled it. My dad spooled it for me. Because I was at school when it came in. He was like, yeah, me spool it. And I was like, yeah, sure. So I'm pretty sure it's Power Pro on it. And now I'm going to go into my lures for fresh water. So the bag I have is a um, 5.11 tactical bag. So I, I just had it laying around. So I felt like using it for fishing because it was just the right size. So... Yeah, and so I use that. And if you guys r just heard that again, said it like the third time, I'm very sorry. They're being annoying right now, but I I, I can't control it. And there's some Bass Pro boxes that I bought on sale because I was just buying boxes. So this is a jerk bait that came in my mystery tackle box. Hooks are really sharp. Sounds really nice. I got a bite on it one day of a big fish, like an eight pounder. But my hookup game, my hook set game is garbage then. So, yeah. Little crankbait. It's nice. And then these. Hold on, if I can actually grab them. These are some of the weights I use for drop shotting. As you might see there, there's a little thing to put the lines through and you pull up and do a quick little overhand knot on it to keep it secure because the drop shot use small hooks 
and it, the bait suspends above the fish in the water column of the fish when they're hunting. There's a little spoon that I got in my mystery tackle box. Haven't used this yet. Might use this like inshore one day when I'm that spin fisher. I've caught many red fish with that. And then these little jig head swim bait things. Haven't gotten anything using that yet. And then some Gamagatsu, um, what's it called? Gamagatsu, I, I completely forgot what actual hooks these are. They are, I'm pretty sure, like, straight shank or something. Really don't know. That's in my Texas right part. And then I have some EWGs in my bag that I also use. And I have worm weights, but I'm not going to get those out yet. Well, no, I'm not going to get them out at all. Little booyah frog. Like this frog. I've caught a few bass on it. Two hula poppers that are interconnected. They're so loud. And a jitterbug. Don't use that. Black and blue jig with no rattles. Haven't used that yet. I usually use the green pumpkin jig because it's more natural on the ground. Um, newer spinner bait. It's a little booyah red eye spinner bait. Older spinnerbait is a Bass Pro spinnerbait for like a dollar in a clearance bin when I only have thirty dollars to spend on bass lures. Um, little chatterbait, use that a bit. And then I'll also show you guys my soft plastic part. It's not in this box. It's actually in a compartment in my bag. It's in a pocket. One of the. It's in a, like a mesh pocket. In the big pocket that I use, and then jig, and then, hold on, there's still more, lipless crankbait that I went through a bunch of weeds with, no, my friend went through a bunch of weeds with, so that's nasty, and then some old drop shot thing, I accidentally put two hooks on one day, so I had to cut that off, tie a whole new thing, these are the actual hooks you use, when you drop shot, really small hooks. These are Gamagatsu size, I think they're size one split shot hooks or drop shot hooks. You can call them whatever you want. The smallest whopper plopper you can get because getting nice early morning and late night blow ups is really fun. You get that with the black, black buzz bait and the black whopper plopper. That is my bat, my box for bass lures. Oh, so much stuff is dropping today. And then I will get out my hooks, weights, and soft plastics. So these are offset round bend hooks. Oh yeah, they're not straight shank. Straight shank. They were round bend. These are the bass pro ones, but uh, the other ones are Gamagatsu. I know that. And then. EWG's size 5 watt and sort of these, these are also 5 watt. These are Gamagatsu. Use those. Um, split shot. And then the actual finesse weights that I use. But I have some other ones that I got in my mystery tackle box that I think my friend took. Because he was going to have a drop shot and he took one for the drop shot. And I was just like, you can have my bass for one. Not my high quality ones, and he was just like, eh. And he took the high quality one anyways, and I was just like, man. I just lost like a $5 thing. Um, green pumpkin trick worms. Use that for drop shotting sometimes. The Yomisankos. These Lake Lunkers. Twin tail grubs. Don't use these that much, but I use them. And there are three different colors in the actual thing they came in. Yeah, let me grab. Um, yeah. So this is a white. This is a white, not really that glittery. It has a little glitter from the other ones. It's white. The action's really nice. I like a caramel, like an off-white, clear type color. Really nice, too. 
And this is the sparkly one. I mean, I would maybe use this in stained water because it's sparkly, but they don't make a lot of noise. They just like flutter around, sort of. Then a pink trick worm, because I was using that the other day with my friend. These Charlie worm, Charlie's worms, worm with a um, swimming tail thing. I, I don't know the actual name of them because they came in my mystery tackle box again. This is not an endorsement for mystery tackle box, by the way. But if you guys watching this could email them saying um, whatever this channel's name sent you. Like, I don't know my name any, right now. Tell them they sent you. Maybe I can get an endorsement. Maybe I can get you guys a coupon code. Who knows? Just throw my name around to random companies, okay? Please? I would love an endorsement. And this is the worm thing. Like, little swimming fluke type thing. I have that on my draw shot rig. Gonna probably use that soon. A little craw thing. Like, they, they just look weird, and I don't want to get them out because they stink. And then, 30 pack of Sankos. Really big. I was going to buy 50 pack, but I was just like, I don't need that many Sankos. Really. Like, I don't need that many Sankos right now. And, yeah. Now I've put everything back in the bag. In the mesh compartment. And now... Hold up. I've dropped so many stuff in this in this recording. Dropped my phone a bit. Dropped some screws. Dropped my portable charger. Dropped everything. This is the... See, I don't have an actual proper tackle box for salt water. So this is a bag that I have. Because, well, I have a proper tackle box, but it's not here. It's actually in Panama City Beach, where I usually go out and... Yeah, these are some owner 5 aught like super needle point hooks, circle hooks. Use these sometimes. Um, sabiki, I have a few sabiki rigs in here, I think. I have more in Panama City Beach, and in over spring break or in a few weeks, I'm gonna actually have my full saltwater rod and reel setup because that's where I have my, most of my setups. That's where I have the boat. So, yeah, that's where I'm gonna. That's actually where this video is. Where I'm going to have a better video explaining all of the saltwater stuff I have. And, yeah. And then, Sabiki Rigs. A little Kingfish Pro Rig. A nice. Um, more Eagle Claw, non offset um, circle hooks. I'm not going to take them out because they're a pain to get back in. Another Kingfish Pro Rig in a different color. Um, a bag with nothing in it. Some no name brand um, swivels. Then there's this little spoon type thing. little, yeah, spoon hook thing. Pretty nice. Um, Bass Pro pliers. But I don't want to actually use my Leatherman. Spro power swivels, 130 pound test, size four. Then a little front white rig that is. My dad tied that. Up, tied that. Um, wire, wire leader for kingfish. Again, for kingfish and sharks, but I don't really use that for sharks. Whoa. All my rods keep almost falling down, and it scares me so much. I just have to, like, I do that. These gotcha plugs. There's another one in there. It fell somewhere. Gotcha plugs. These are for Spanish mackerel. I haven't caught a Spanish mackerel on this one. I caught a Spanish on the little one. That's why the head's all messed up, if you just want to see that. And from dragging on the bottom a bunch. See, it is all messed up from that. And it's bent and everything. So, like, I got like two or three Spanish wrapper on these. And then there's another one that fell. I'll fix it later. These treble hooks, Eagle Claw treble hooks. 
pressure in the back to actually show them off. Eagle Claw, Trouble Hooks, like I said, 50, size 4. Um, Dramamine, because you always have to have Dramamine on a boat. 40 pound test cigar, pink label. Sorry for that cut, guys. My sister walked in, had to move her out. So back to this, I have another Kingfish Pro Rig in a bag. Box got lost, I'm pretty sure. Kids Dramamine with nothing in it. Um, actual Dramamine with like one in it. Then this big Rapala X-Wrap. Uh, yeah, X-Wrap Magnum. It's Kingfish Trolling Lure. And then the other little thing that goes into the gotcha plug. I haven't got anything on that. I might try to vertical jig it. Possibly. But yeah, that's most of my saltwater and freshwater combos and lures and everything. So if you guys enjoyed this video, just go ahead and leave a thumbs up. Comment if you liked it. Subscribe. Well, comment, like, subscribe. Tell me what I should do in the future. And if you guys want to see more, if you guys want to see some, like, reviews, unboxings, stuff like that, if you guys want to see that, just tell me. Hey, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys stayed through this all, peace out, people.